Good morning, mom. Time to wake up. I've made your favorite sandwich. Mm. I want to sleep. Come, we need to brush your teeth first before your breakfast. Okay, so the... Andrew left for work. Yes, ma'am. He already left about seven to drop the kids off. Come, let's get you washed up first. Can I brush it later? I eat. Can I eat first? No, you need to brush your teeth first before you have your breakfast. I don't want to brush it now. You have to brush your teeth before your breakfast. I don't want to brush it. I don't yeah. want. You have to brush your teeth. I don't want. Come. <laughs> Are you okay? I See, I told you already. <laughs> Mom, see, I made my favorite breakfast. Oh, it's my favorite sandwich? Yes, come take a bite. Oh, my teeth so pain. But it's my favorite sandwich. Come take another bite. I don't want, I don't want to eat. My teeth so pain. Then shall I bring you to the dentist? Okay. Are your loved ones refusing to eat? Not brushing their teeth properly? Are they perhaps displaying aggressive and agitated behaviors? Or not having a good night's rest? Well, these behaviours may suggest that your loved ones are having dental problems. If you feel like your loved ones are struggling with dental problems, then you should immediately seek a dental professional's consultation. There are two main types of dental disease. Gum disease causes inflamed and bleeding gums. Gum recession, loose teeth and bad breath caused by the buildup of dental plaque. Tooth decay is caused by the action of dental plaque on the teeth when food or drinks containing sugar are consumed. Bacteria in the plaque feed on sugar and produces acid. This attacks the tooth, causing tooth decay. Brushing technique. 45 degrees towards the gums, Brush in a circular motion about 10 times, then move on to the next teeth. Proceed by then brushing the outside surfaces systematically from one side to the other before going on to the opposite jaw. Use minimal toothpaste so that less foam is produced. This helps to make it easier to visualize the teeth while brushing. Remember to take out the toothbrush after brushing a few teeth. Wipe the toothbrush clean from food debris once complete, start brushing the inside surfaces of the upper and lower teeth. If the patient gets tired, you may get them to bite on a disposable bite stick or handle of another toothbrush. Besides caring for your loved one's teeth, it is important to consider the other parts of the mouth, including the roof of the mouth or palate and the tongue. After brushing the teeth of your loved ones, check the tongue or roof of the mouth as these areas can often trap mucus and phlegm. Mucus and phlegm contain bacteria and help bacteria to grow. These can cause infections. Any phlegm or mucus should be wiped away with a gauze or towel-wrapped finger regularly. If phlegm or mucus is not wiped away in time, it dries and forms a layer over soft tissues and teeth. If your loved ones have dentures to replace some teeth, it is very important to care for the dentures as well. Dentures should be removed after each meal and cleaned effectively. Both the teeth of the dentures as well as the opposite side that faces the gums should be cleaned. Dentures should be taken out at night to allow soft tissues to rest. When removed, dentures should be placed in water. If dentures are not cleaned effectively, are not removed regularly, they will trap bacteria and food, causing bad breath, infections and pain. If the patient is bedbound, unresponsive or unconscious or cannot be moved for any reason, use a dry toothbrush without any toothpaste to carry out oral hygiene. If the patient has problems gripping a normal toothbrush, modifications can be made to the toothbrush handle so that it is adapted to the patient's grip. When using a manual toothbrush, 
it is recommended that the toothbrush has soft bristles and a smaller compact head. Soft bristles are less abrasive to tooth structure, while the use of a smaller compact head allows easier brushing of the back teeth. When using an electric toothbrush, the same recommendations of small compact head apply. However, ensure that the toothbrush is not overly heavy for the patient to use. Most elderly have less flexible fingers, thus flossing may not be possible. The use of interdental brushes will help clear food debris from in between the teeth. There are a few different sizes to interdental brushes. Please consult your dentist for the most suitable size for your loved ones. For those who are still able to rinse and spit independently, the use of regular toothpaste is the best option. Patients with swallowing difficulties or who choke easily may consider the use of a low-forming regular toothpaste. That means toothpastes which do not contain sodium lauryl sulfate or SLS. For those who are no longer able to spit or rinse independently, we do not recommend the use of regular toothpaste. Rather, the use of non-fluoride containing toothpaste can be considered. Since good oral hygiene is more dependent on the brushing technique than the toothpaste being used, even brushing with a damp toothbrush is effective in preventing dental diseases. For those with severe gum disease, the dentist may recommend the use of antiseptic gels instead of toothpaste. Mouth rinse is only to be used for patients who are able to rinse and spit. However, mouth rinse cannot replace the importance of good tooth brushing. What is this the new toothbrush? Is it nice? Is it you bought in the dental clinic? Yes, this is the new one. Then you can brush on your own already. Mm, I don't want. Do you want me to get Andrew instead to help you? Mm, okay. Welcome, let's brush our teeth. Mm, I don't want. Oh, you look tired. Maybe we will brush our teeth later. Okay, later. My this is your new toothbrush. And I also have one, and we're gonna brush our teeth together, okay? I'm gonna put some toothpaste on yours and some of mine, and then we're gonna brush together. This is how you grip, you have to hold, and then you start from the top. Okay, ma, very good. I think you can continue on your own already. Okay, that's good. But look, the flower is your favorite flower. It's very nice, right? Mm. Hey, it's your favorite color. Mm. Look at the petal, it's so soft. Oral health is important for everyone. Even if your loved ones have few teeth remaining or no teeth left, Daily oral hygiene is essential. A healthy mouth will make eating more enjoyable without the woes of dental pain or infection.